How to win. Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen, the former world champion with the black pieces. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today you will watch one of the games that played five days ago between the GOAT of chess, Grandmaster Magnus Carlsen with white pieces against Grandmaster, one of the best players in the world today, Richard Rappaport. So yeah, it was like tournament, FIDE Rapid, uh, World Rapid Team Championship and Magnus, of course, was in the first board against Richard Rappaport. So let's see it. I think the time control was something around 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes. I didn't check it, but it's not the most important thing in this game because, you know, in this video, you will see how to win with the black pieces against, you know, the goat of chess in only 22 moves. So let's start. So the game started with e4, Magnus uh, is playing of course all the moves, but e4 was chosen by him in this game. c6, Richard Rappaport is playing the move c6, of course, also Rappaport uh, can play so much things here, c5, e5, e6, he played, uh, you know, so much uh, openings, of course, but c6, I'm not sure that I remember that he played c6 but maybe maybe i'm really really wrong okay d4 d5 of course the karokan variation e takes d5 as you already know knight c3 knight d2 uh, e5 of course but magnus is taking the pawn c takes d5 and now he's playing bishop to d3 uh, as you maybe know i played a lot of times knight f3 and after knight c6 also the move knight to e5 very interesting also for for white and I really recommend you maybe to check it. So bishop d3 of course also very um, interesting move. The point is that bishop g4 cannot be played of course because of the queen um, and maybe you want to play the move c3, h3 and after it to play knight f3 because you want to play against this bishop and when you um, just playing the move bishop d3 you are avoiding from the black bishop uh, to come to develop his bishop to f5. So he played the move knight f6, a3, as we already understand, bishop g4 was uh, the next move for black. Knight c6, the d4 pawn is under attack, c3 was played, and now black is playing a very important move that white must know in the theory. He's playing the move e5. So if he's not playing the move e5, let's say g6, knight f3, I don't know, bishop g7, Castle, castle, bishop f4. So white wants to play the move knight bd2, rook e1, knight e5, maybe knight df3, something around uh, this play, maybe after it queen d2, rook a d1, and to play in the center and e file, d file. This is the interesting uh, plan for, for, for white. Of course, black uh, maybe will, uh, will try to play knight d7, maybe knight b6, a6, b5, somewhere like this maybe uh, to push b4 in the queen side so this is overall what black wants to do so after c3 black is uh, playing a very active move he's playing the move e5 so d takes e5 of course knight takes e5 and now there is a choice white can play the move uh, knight to f3 and said to, to to black you know what just take my bishop queen takes and the next move will be very very easy for me bishop d6 castle castle bishop d3 or rook e1 for example i think rook e1 also makes sense but also bishop g5 bishop e3 and the point is that black of course has a very weak pawn on d5 but he has two bishops right so black will try to play rook e8 something around knight e4 bishop f5 queen d7 rook a d8 and white will push like bishop e3, knight bd2, knight d4, knight df3, rook a d1, rook f1, and I, I assume that it's very very um, close to equal position, but of course it's a um, matter of what you like to play, because if you are uh, with the black pieces now and you don't like to play with isolated pawn like in d5 here, so this is first thing that you must consider. And another thing that maybe you like to play with two bishops, so you will be glad to play with these two bishops. 
And also, if you really like to play with two knights, because these knights can jump a lot, right? Bishop e3, knight d4, knight bd2, sorry, knight d2. I don't know, knight a5, knight b5, knight b3, knight f3. A lot of options also for white. So this is another uh, one option, of course, to play with, with the white pieces after knight takes e5. But Magnus is playing the move queen to e2. Also, quite fine move. Knight to e4, of course, the knight on e5 was under attack and now knight e4 is protecting. Of course, f3 is very, very bad move after knight takes d3, queen takes and queen h4, just uh, white will resign the game absolutely immediately. So, bishop e4 also, one thing that you must know, after take, take, bishop d6, uh, something around f4, of course, is not good because of queen h4 check and the king on e1 is on the center and it's also bad. Um, and of course after bishop f4 also just i think just castle and after bishop takes bishop takes and that's it right queen takes rook e8 and yeah of course this is the pin and black will take a queen so bishop b5 check bishop d7 was played and now knight f3 i assume that until this position uh, both sides knew what they are doing knight g6 was played by rapport and bishop e3 makes a lot of sense just developing a bishop and also uh, you know trying to play knight bd2 with the bishop already developed on e3 for example knight bd2 immediately i think just knight e4 and this was the bad thing for white so uh, very logical to play bishop e3 and the next move will be knight bd2 and bishop d6 of course also black will develop his pieces knight bd2 as we already said and castle and in this position probably you know it's very very equal position and uh, maybe you can play i don't know maybe uh, you can play bishop d7 like magnus played also castle makes sense i think also knight takes e4 and takes a knight d4 makes a little bit sense because also there is an option to uh, to do a long castle but magnus played the move bishop takes d7 queen takes d7 and you know what in this position i really want to tell you you don't understand this position is already after 13 moves can you realize that magnus carlsen with the white pieces lost this position in only nine moves so you must see how it finished so rook d1 the very big and first mistake by uh, magnus carlsen he's playing the move rook d1 and he said you know what I'm trying to uh, to put some pressure on you guy and knight takes e4 maybe it's a little bit annoying because of this pin right so I don't know I assume that long castle or maybe a small castle you know uh, is very very seems fine queen d3 rook d1 rook f1 and your king is under you know is in safe position of course after castling and everything is under control for white but rook d1 was played now rook f8 I don't know why chesscom is doing like it's a mistake, it's a really fine move, just developing another piece into the game. So knight takes c4 was played, rook takes c4. The point that after d takes c4, just black, uh, of course white will play the move knight d4 and black will, will thought to himself, oh, why I put the, the rook here uh, is doing nothing, right? Because this e4 pawn is just, um, you know, blocking uh, the, the file. So rook takes e4 was played and now black is, a little bit pressing right knight f4 it's a little bit annoying bishop c5 rook a8 all the black pieces in the game and white didn't castle yet R knight to g5 and in this position i think that magnus a little bit felt like oh no i, I don't know what you're doing man knight f4 just attacking the queen of course and queen f3 and now black played a brilliant move really really brilliant move queen to b5 what a move by richard he wants you know of course the rook is under attack but let's see knight takes c4 is very big mistake it's forbidden because d takes c4 and now the queen is under attack of course after queen takes c4 queen e2 checkmate in the board uh, so here after queen g4 i think just f5 or h5 i assume h5 uh, makes a lot of sense and that's it Queen takes the four, just bishop takes, bishop takes, and queen takes b2, and this position is just over. So queen b5, brilliant move by uh, black, and also don't forget that this move is just controlling the f1 square, and white cannot castle until now, right? So g3 was played, 
f6 very strong move because you know knight d3 was a big mistake because rook takes d3 queen takes and now queen takes f7 king h8 and just taking the rook and one pawn up for white and there is no attack for black so everything is fine of course queen b1 is not afraid because king e2 queen h1 and knight d6 right so two pieces uh, for a rook is very very good for white so g3 f6 very strong because this knight is annoying black and i just want to kill it Take on f4, take on g5, take on g5, and now rook coming to f8. And as you can see in this position, big, big problems for the former world champion, Magnus Carlsen. What can he do? Because the queen is under attack, the king is on the center, the rook on h1 is doing nothing, the bishop can't move, the rook on d1 is fine, but overall the black pieces are just doing incredible jobs here. So he played the move rook queen to g2. Of course, after queen e2, the problem is just rook takes c3. After f takes c3, bishop g3, king d2, and rook f2. And black is winning a queen and the game. So here, after queen takes e3, just rook e8, and also a pin that will bring the win for black. So queen g2 was played, and now rook f8, and queen f1, and that now you know it just game over. Queen takes b2. You can see the king on e1 is just, you know, pointless, right? He cannot do nothing. The, it's like it's like game over immediately. He played the move rook d2, but of course he resigned immediately after rook e3. Just game over, of course. F takes rook takes e3, and after king d1, queen b1 checkmate, and king f2 just taking the rook and rook g3 checkmate. So after rook d2, I can tell you that Magnus played the move and immediately resigned. After 22 moves, Magnus Carlsen resigned with white pieces. So it's very, very interesting for you to know and to learn how can you maybe one day win against former world champion and GOAT, the greatest of all time. You know, all my life I dreamed about playing against Magnus Carlsen and maybe one day I will achieve this dream. So pray for me and like my video and subscribe my channel see you soon goodbye my friends